July 4th is such a special time of the year in our country. We celebrate our nation's birthday. It's a time when families come together. We celebrate the greatness of our country. But it's also a time when we can be injured and hurt as a result of fireworks. So we want Americans to celebrate safely. Be careful when you use fireworks and enjoy this 4th of July. In fact, a sparkler burns at about 2,000 degrees, and of all the injuries we see, sparklers account for the highest rate of injuries. Consumer fireworks are the ones you can go in and buy legally. There are still illegal fireworks that consumers should never go anywhere near. The commercial fireworks should be left to the professionals. I can't emphasize that enough. They're so powerful and they're so dangerous. They should be left to the professionals. Consumer fireworks can be dangerous as well. And so understanding those dangers is part of our message today. Uh, but, and, and consumers can go into a store and buy them, and that's a good thing, but they need to understand the dangers and the hazards related to those fireworks. So we talk about firework safety at this time of the year because in our statistics it shows that 70% of the injuries occur around the four week period around the 4th of July. So now is the time to be focusing on celebrating safely. So the report showed that in 2017 there were eight deaths as a result of fireworks and then there were 12,900 injuries as a result of the use of fireworks. I uh, decided I wanted to launch a uh, mortar shell uh, style firework that you might buy in uh, uh, a firework stand. I uh, uh, put the mortar shell actually inside the tube, uh, made sure that it was all the way at the bottom. Uh, I lit the fuse and then I decided to hold the uh, fireworks above my head. Uh, the mortar shell then exploded inside of the tube instead of launching out of the tube. When the mortar shell exploded, I have a scar in this hand and I have a scar here and literally what happened is my hands folded over backwards. Uh, so off of my left hand I lost my uh, pinky, I lost my ring finger, I lost the tip of my middle finger and I lost my thumb. On my right hand I lost my index finger, the tip of my middle finger <clears throat> and uh, severely damaged uh, the tendons in my thumb. The doctors at the time didn't think that they were going to be able to save my uh, thumb, that they thought that most likely they would have to amputate it, uh, but they were able to, uh, to save it, thankfully. These were legally purchased fireworks. I had used them in the past, uh, and uh, I'd had plenty of experience with them for years and years of shooting them, and had never had anything go wrong uh, until this one exploded uh, inside the tube, detonated in my hands. The biggest thing I would like to get across to everybody is that things don't always go as we, as we plan. Uh, fireworks, mortar shells are very dangerous. Uh, people die using them, people get hurt using them, uh, people lose fingers uh, using them, and it changes your life forever. Uh, so I would say leave the mortar shells uh, to the pros uh, and leave them on the ground if you're going to use them. En 2017 se reportaron ocho muertes vinculadas con fuegos artificiales, con las edades de las víctimas entre los 4 y los 57 años. Además, casi 13,000 personas sufrieron lesiones. La mayoría de las lesiones fueron causadas por las estrellitas o las luces de Mengala. Eh, en, hubieron quemaduras, pérdida de la visión y hasta pérdida de extremidades. En promedio, unas 280 personas llegan a emergencias cada día en los 30 días alrededor del feriado del 4 de julio. Por eso es muy importante y es la mejor opción no usar ningún dispositivo en casa. Hay que dejar la pirotecnia en manos de los profesionales. Las personas optan por usar algún dispositivo, algún fuego artificial. Lo primero que deben de hacer es checar si son legales en el área donde viven. Además, nunca se le debe de dar ningún dispositivo a niños pequeños porque esto puede ser muy peligroso. Al encender los dispositivos hay que hacerlo uno a uno y retroceder inmediatamente después de prenderlos. Si un dispositivo no prendió a la primera, nunca hay que volver a tratar de encenderlo. Esto puede ser también muy peligroso. Y siempre hay que tener eh, agua a la mano en caso de emergencia.